In one of our previous videos, people got confused between cinema cameras costing about $70,000 and budget cameras $5,000. So it's our responsibility to educate people about the difference between cinema cameras and mirrorless. Hence, in today's video, we will compare both cameras regarding their convenience, functionality, footage quality, and more. So stick around and enjoy the show. Apart from optic technology, there's not much of a difference between cinema cameras and mirrorless. For example, both don't have a reflex mirror, and the lens can be interchangeable. Fun fact, almost 90% of cinema cameras are mirrorless. However, a cinema camera has a greater focus on video than stills. Sensors used in cinema cameras are usually big and referred to as full frames, since they have a size of 35 millimeters mostly. Furthermore, video processing through the editing phase gives more flexibility for filmmakers. They also provide 10 times more metadata than mirrorless. Some entry-level, popular cinema cameras you can buy now are the Sony FX6, Canon EOS C300, Mark III, Blackmagic Ursa Mini Pro, DJI Ronin 4D, and Zcam E2. Meanwhile, mirrorless cameras can either have full-frame, APS-C, Micro Four Thirds, or one-inch imaging sensors. Some popular mirrorless cameras available in the market are Sony Alpha 1, Canon EOS R6, Nikon Z9, Fujifilm X-T4, and Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV. Both cinema cameras and mirrorless are built for different purposes. For starters, mirrorless cameras are mainly designed for shooting stills. However, with mirrorless tech maturing nicely, many hybrid mirrorless models these days are also excellent for shooting videos. Besides that, they are built for solo operations thanks to their portable size. In contrast, the primary goal of cinema cameras is to shoot video first. They are built to be used around large teams and are perfect for shooting big-budget commercials and films. Aside from that, cinema cameras offer a high degree of control over the picture and can produce footage that looks like film. One of the main advantages of some mirrorless cameras is that they are small and lightweight. You can easily carry them without breaking a sweat. In comparison, cinema cameras are made to be built up. That's why most cinema cameras like Blackmagic, Ursa, and Red are much heavier. They are also way bigger than mirrorless cameras. While some cinema cameras like the C70 from Canon are smaller than the usual cinema cameras with their own limitations. But by the time they are fully rigged up, they will be way bigger than mirrorless cameras like the Sony Alpha 7 III or 4. In terms of functionality, cinema cameras are just better and more reliable. They're highly customizable, come with a wide range of necessary ports, have extended battery life and built-in NDs to manage overexposure quickly. In addition, larger cinema cameras dissipate heat with built-in fans or heat sinks, allowing uninterrupted footage across lengthy shoots. Mirrorless cameras, on the other hand, don't have all the ports for a complete video and audio system. Having a cinema camera like Canon C200, C70, or Sony FX6 can make your workflow way better. These cameras come with a lot of things that mirrorless cameras don't. Don't get triggered, because we haven't covered Ari, Panavision, or RED yet. We will open a university about those. In the past, we believed that the image quality was better in pretty much all the cinema cameras. However, many mirrorless cameras on the market are starting to have outstanding resolutions, higher frame rates, and an excellent dynamic range. Suppose you are shooting a music video in a studio, where you have complete control over the lighting and environment. In that case, you will probably see a little difference in image quality between mirrorless and cinema cameras. However, when you are outdoors and primarily relying on Mother Nature, you will start to see the difference between these two. When circumstances are less predictable, and you were to shoot with the best mirrorless cameras available, then you would notice that it would have nowhere near the color depth and dynamic range of something like Ari Alexa. So by now, we hope you have a bit of understanding about cinema cameras and mirrorless, which you have been lacking earlier. But if you still can't decide between these two, 
then let us make it simple for you. If you work alone and need to grab a quick interview or shoot low-key documentary footage, mirrorless cameras will do the job with no frills. But if you're a full-time video professional working with a team under demanding circumstances, then a cinema camera will probably be a better route for you. But then again, people might have different perspectives, and we'd love to know yours in the comments section below. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more videos like this on your feed.